Hello, first grade readers. Happy Wednesday. Today, I am so excited to be reading detectives with you. And we are going to read a nonfiction story about fish. And so all of the information in that book is true. And then we're going to read a fiction story that has fish in it. And we're going to be detectives and see if any information from that nonfiction story can be found in the fiction story. So, are you ready to be a detective with me? Here we go. This story is called Swim Fish, Explore the Coral Reef. Let's swim. Follow the fish to a coral reef. And there's a clownfish. Oh, we know clownfish from Nemo, right? The water here is warm. Corals grow. They make big reefs. Oh, look how beautiful that coral is and all those fish all over the place. <laughs> Schools of fish rush back and forth. This is the Sergeant Majors. Seahorses, seahorses move up and down and sideways. I didn't realize that's how they swam. They seem to be near some interesting coral. Turtles flap their flippers like birds flap their wings. This is the green sea turtle. Wow, look how big he is. Eels glide from place to place. This is the giant moray eel. Ooh, looks like a snake underwater. Whale shark, look at that whale shark. Check out his big mouth there. Looks like he's scooping up those fish. Nearby whale sharks eat tiny fish. Ooh, I was right. Some animals here swim very, very slow. This is the cushion sea stars. Did you know they actually are swimming? I didn't know that. They're living. Some swim very, very fast. Swim fish. And this is a school of minnows. Look how fast they must be swirling and swimming. And so many, like millions. These animals live underwater. The ocean is their home. And you can kind of see them hiding here. And here we have the back. So we learned a lot in that story about fish. We learned different types of fish. We learned animals that live under the ocean with the fish. So now let's read another story here. This book is called Hide by Steve Henry. This is a fiction story. And let's be thinking if any information we learned, we might be able to find in this book. And maybe we'll find stuff that we can say, oh my gosh, that can't be true. So here he says, Mike naps. That must be Mike the elephant. Pat sees fish. <gasps> Whoa, look at him falling into the ocean. Well, we do know that there are other fish and crabs in the water, so that part kind of is the same as the nonfiction book. Pat sees more fish. Well, that makes sense, right? He would see lots of other fish if he fell into the ocean. That seems to be the same as the nonfiction book, too. Pat sees more and more. The fish have fun. Now, I notice a lot of fish, remember that school of fish, they were all swimming really fast? But do you think they were swimming like this? No, their swimming looked a little different, but a little the same. It's kind of the same, right? Hide! Oh, do you think these animals have something to be afraid of? Oh, it says, a shark! Yeah, they do, right? And remember the whale shark or the... In the other book, in our other story, he was eating those fish, right? Pat can't hide. Pat still can't hide. Now, wait a minute. When I was reading that other book, I thought I saw plenty of places for fish to hide. What about all those spots in the coral? So do we agree that all of this is true? Not based on that nonfiction book I read. Fish have plenty of places to hide. Pat needs help. Oh, well, that seems like it could be true. The shark has Pat. Help me! 
Now, do you think he would be able to talk? Did any of the fish in that other book talk? No, they didn't talk. That seems like fiction. Something is coming. Did the crabs talk? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's also fiction. Oh my gosh, I love this page. Look, here the elephant falls on the shark. Pat is safe. <gasps> hey, he rescued Pat. Do elephants walk under the ocean with goggles? No, I didn't see any elephants in the swim book about fish on the ocean. Now Mike has fun. Do you think elephants swim like that in the ocean? I don't think they swim like that in the ocean with the other fish. But Mike needs help. He can't go up. Now that makes sense, but I didn't see anything in my, fic my nonfiction book like that. The fish help Mike. Hmm, do you think any of those fish were helping each other or an elephant? Uh, I don't know if fish help each other. That I didn't really learn, but I don't think they would help an elephant. Pat and Mike are safe. They nap. And that is the end. So boys and girls, today when I read these two stories, I read this nonfiction book and after I read it, it allowed me to start thinking like somebody who wanted to make sure that what I was reading in the fiction stories were things that maybe could or could not happen. So that I'm always thinking to myself and cross-checking to decide if something in that fiction book might be true and might be a fact or whether something in that fiction book is probably fiction. And we know there were lots there that was probably fiction, but it was interesting to see that they tried to do some things that might also be fact. Today, boys and girls, while you're reading, your job is going to be to choose a nonfiction story on dogs. And after you read that nonfiction dog story that your teacher either has assigned to you on Get Epic or that you're choosing on Get Epic, I want you to read one of the fiction stories on dogs. And I want you to compare what you learned about dogs from the nonfiction story with the silly fiction story about dogs that you read. And see if there are things in there that maybe are true in that fiction story and what in that fiction story is definitely fiction. Happy reading today, boys and girls.